The first ever drive through restaurant opened in the United States in the mid-1900s. And today, there are over 200,000 drive through operations across the United States. While here in Germany, the first drive through restaurant opened in the mid-1980s. And at that time, cup holders were not even a standard feature in German automobiles. So today, in 2022, we are going to see what the American drive through culture looks like here in Germany. All right, so we're in the car and we're on our way to our first stop. drive throughs in Germany are definitely not as common as they are in the US, but we're in the car now, we're on our way and we're gonna get the big dog out of the way first. Ooh, LCD screen. Hallo, ich hätte gerne einmal dieses Big Tasty Menü, genau, mit den Curly Fries, dann einmal den Grand Barbecue Cheese und sechs Spicy Nuggets, bitte. Haben Sie diese, diese Butter Ranch Soße? Aber habe ich schon die Bestellung geschlossen. Können wir am Fenster noch irgendwie eine drauf machen oder zweite Bestellung mit der? Fahren Sie bis zum nächsten Salsa, ich mag da vorne, ja? Ja, alles klar. Bitte. Danke. Check it, there's a flea market going on next door. Is it a drive through flea market? It's a drive through flea market. Let's go. We got it. We got the goods. All right, meal one in the car. We went to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, McDonald's is definitely by far the biggest American food staple in Germany. It's the first one that popped up everywhere decades ago before Burger King, before KFC, before Subway. McDonald's was most likely for most of the Germans the first ever drive through they did in their lives. One thing that we noticed, McDonald's in Germany is way better than McDonald's in the US. I think McDonald's all over the world is way better than in the US. It's so strange. Which is weird because it's the number one in the US as well, right? Let's just start with the Grand Barbecue Cheese. This is one of the signature burgers right now. It's their promotional burger. So this one's supposed to be the best one they have. This is gonna be a mess. No new napkins. I wonder if US people, Americans in general, are just better at eating in the car because it's so common, right? We got a nice slice of cheese on there. We got one patty. We got bacon that's already coming out on the other side. Hanging out. Uh, sauce is all over the place. There's some grilled onions on there. The burger overall is pretty sloppily built, McDonald's, come on. But I guess that's the same around the world, right? Mm-hmm. So there's barbecue sauce on it, not ketchup, which gives it this typical smokier flavor. It definitely looks nicer and heartier than the standard cheeseburger or double cheeseburger. You have even sesame seeds on the top and everything. I think this is better than anything you can get in the US. Did they not give us napkins? I think I'm missing a tomato on it. One thing that I love about the McDonald's in Germany is that they have this buttermilk ranch dip, which is so hard to find in Germany in general. Just any type of ranch, it's not a common thing. You order wings and you won't get ranch. But this one is not the standard ranch. It's this like orange Smoky version. version. And they have a promotional curly fries right now. Yeah, so, so that's the best combo. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. I love this sauce. I could just drink it. I don't know if this is available in the US, but uh, buttermilk ranch dip. And I think curly fries are just superior. So this sauce reminds me a little bit of the Big Tasty sauce, which is the next burger we got. This is hands down my favorite burger in Germany. I don't think we have it in the US. They had a Big and Tasty in the US for a little bit, but it's not the same. I think I had the Big and Tasty in Austria and it's a way smaller, way different burger. This one you have bacon, tomato, lettuce, this very smushed big patty, cheese, and then it's this smoky sauce to it that I think is what makes it taste so good. Fully smoked is gonna be difficult. Okay. <laughs> Take a big bite. <laughs> Thanks. It's a big burger. This is the biggest burger. And to be honest, I think in the US, they don't have a burger of this size. Mm -hmm. Check the diameter of this thing. It's very heavy. If you go on the McDonald's website, they always tell you how much a burger weighs. And <laughs> I usually compare the signature burgers like the Grand Barbecue Cheese weight-wise with the Big Tasty. And they usually weigh lighter. If you're really hungry, then get this one. I wish they had it in the US, man. Yeah, to me, that's the best one. Mm. Wow, we're gonna eat a lot today. Well, it's two o'clock. We don't usually eat until lunch. <laughs> we do like fasting until lunch. So here we go, breaking our fast with some McDonald's. We have one more thing from McDonald's. It's not the normal nuggets, it's spicy nuggets. And uh, they don't always have them on the menu but right now they do. And I think um, the McDonald's nuggets are one of the iconic things. I think they're better than the Burger King ones, definitely. I just have never had the spicy sauce, so I'm interested. Yeah, so it's this definitely is... definitely orangier. 
Yeah, orange. it's darker, right? Yeah, darker and more vibrant than the normal nuggets. Spicy nuggets with spicy sauce. See how spicy it actually is. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like a salsa dip. Yeah, yeah. it's tomatoey. So check it. It is pretty good. It fits nicely mm. together. It's more like a spicy ketchup. I think for German levels together, this is definitely spicy. Yeah. But you can also go with spicy nuggets and the sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, they have a curry sauce here that I really like. Mm, yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Okay, I think we might already have more caloric intake for the day in, but this was only stop one. So up next, we are doing something that is very common here in Germany. It's the meal in between lunch and dinner. The meal. <laughs> it's Kaffee und Kuchen, yeah. which has become my favorite time of the day. <laughs> and we are going to a drive-thru. Ooh. Woohoo. All right, so we came to Starbucks, which is our coffee and kuchen place for the day. This is not common in Germany. This actually is the very first Starbucks with a drive through in Germany. Starbucks in general is fairly common in bigger cities. I didn't know these existed till I went to the US and it was so common everywhere. And now it's slowly making its way over here. And it's Sunday and there's a line. So it seems popular. The people seem to like it. We're turning into Wally uh, Americans. I, I guess, right? Look at a stop that I've never been to. Starbucks drive through <laughs> Ooh, it's New even stop. famous in the gaming world. Yeah, look at that. And also, what we do not have in Germany is people coming to you, to your car. You have that. The workers sometimes come with tablets oh. and take your orders. Yeah, because right? in, in the US. Yeah, we don't have that, at, not, not at McDonald's or anywhere. 20 Minuten später. Finally moving. Hallo, äh, ich hätte gerne einen Tall PSL mit Hafermilch, bitte. Nochmal bitte. Tall Pumpkin Spiced Latte mit Hafermilch. Muss ich einmal nachschauen? Einen Moment bitte. Ja. He ordered PSL. Like ja, den habe ich da. Ja, davon einen bitte und äh, ein Stück äh, Carrot Cake. Das ist alles für Sie? Ja, das wär's. This guy orders a Pumpkin Spiced Latte like a basic B. Uh, ein PSL bitte mit Hafermilch, bitte. Ja, ja. Didn't, didn't catch me there. She didn't know what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then we still have cars to go. By Look the way, it's 2.47 now and we arrived at like 2.20. So we'll see when we're out here. Yeah, we, took. we would never do this normally. This is way too long a void. <laughs> 35 minutes to go through the Starbucks drive through So we have our PSL because it's Halloween October. And uh, I think it's always seasonal, right? Can you get it all year round in the US? Uh, I think it's seasonal. Yeah, I don't think you can get it year round. Bill ordered it like an American, I guess. And they didn't understand him. Yeah, and it's I think PSL. in Germany, maybe people don't know PSL. <laughs> I was wondering, I thought maybe if you work at Starbucks, you know, you might know it, but it was really I guess funny. Not. Tastes so good. The PSL mix is like a lot of cinnamon nutmeg and it's this pumpkin spice mix. I think it tastes a little bit Christmassy. Um, it's not that common in Germany to have pumpkin spiced coffee, coffee, you yeah. know. But if you are a fan of like coffee variations, I'd say definitely give it a try. It just has cinnamon in it. So anything with cinnamon, Phil always says is Christmassy. So we're here in Dusseldorf right next to the Immigration, immigration office. office. Yeah. I know Starbucks gets a lot of criticism for being this big corporation and everything. However, you have to give them that they offer decent stuff everywhere, like around the world. For example, yeah. carrot cake. In Germany, it's still pretty hard to find carrot cake. There are a couple of places in the city where we found it, but the big chains, the big bakeries like Kamps or Ditch or whatever, they do not have carrot cake normally. Yeah, it's just not very common. And Starbucks, I also think for a German level, it's fairly expensive. Awesome, we have a pretty big piece of carrot cake. And did they give us a fork? I don't think so. They did not. So we have to, might have to hand hold oh, this. Oh, really? It feels heavy. It feels very moist, which is nice. It has three layers of the cream glazing cream cheese what cream do you call cheese. that four layers it's on the back you can see the cinnamon on the back there how it's moist on the other side how am i gonna this is horrible this is how you eat this <laughs> <laughs> mm. this is how we should eat cake all the time it's so fun until i put it down i guess but yeah. mm. dude it's so moist dude you just ate half of it mm. and like uh, how what the hell Mm. 
It's so good. I'm not joking. It's very cold. I love that. It's heavy though. It's moist. It's the right ratio between the cream cheese frosting and the cake layers. There are the, the see walnuts in there. Mm, walnuts in there. A little bit of cinnamon, but not too much. I like this a lot. Deanna is like the biggest carrot cake fan I've ever met. You should try it next, make a big mess. Dude, I cannot so believe it. In my car in the US, we always have extra stuff here, like for emergencies. So where's the fork? Noted the forks? for the future, we need to get some napkins, some forks, some spoons, some sporks, and uh, some no, uh, chopsticks. No, we in there, do everything. not because we're not eating in the car like we are now. This is just for a video. We're I'm, not doing this on a I'm regular basis. I'm never gonna basis. leave this car again. Oh god. Here we go. I, I I don't know. Like. Oh God, no! I don't. Don't drop it. Don't, this is horrible. Why are you eating cake with my hands? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's a proper cream cheese frosting. That's what I'm saying. I like the layers because oftentimes, even if we go to a cafe here in Germany, it's just a single layer with single cream cheese. I think that having at least a double layer is a nice ratio because then you get a good mix and blend. Okay. Oh, yeah. Put it in there. I could have a little more nuts and a little more carrot chunks, but overall, very good. I feel like I will thoroughly enjoy this with a fork <laughs> after this. But to be honest, uh, don't you think there's something to eating with your hands? Oh, I love it. Just not when I have to hold a camera after this. However, not only do they have cake, they have hearty sandwiches. And we actually wanted to get a pretzel snack with yeah. the chicken, but they didn't have it. So we got a ham and egg bagel and uh, it's warm which is nice and I'm trying to open it here it has a fried egg on it not very yolky though there's cheese there's the bacon on the bottom and uh, below that there's some white sauce and some like herbs. cheese and chives yeah but it's a bagel it's something that's harder to find so Starbucks is a place that offers it mmm it looks like the standard microwave egg you know how in fast foods they microwave the eggs no idea what what they microwave the eggs mm -hmm. at fast food places. Mm -hmm. It's good though, I'm surprised. It's warm, which I really like. So it's oh, yeah. a very nice snack. It's again, not on the cheap side, especially from a German perspective. Mm. I really like that. It's very buttery. I yeah. think that's a buttered chive at the bottom. I think that's another thing. Starbucks food is a little underrated or most of the times you go to Starbucks for the coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Good coffee and kuchen. Yeah, I miss bagels in general. Bagels are something I really love and uh, it's not really here in Germany. P-S-L, B-H-E, bagel, ham and egg. <laughs> Stop the, the making acronyms old, for everything. Good old C-C. Yo, D-P, B-P, I don't P -P, know. P-P, potato <laughs> fill. <laughs> Before we move on to our next dish, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's free, thank you. And if you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or you can support us on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil, where we make additional monthly videos. We want to give a shout out to our family tier, Marcus Ottensman, Fred42, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Matro, Shar Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Stephanie Vend, Jurg Michels, Megan Rosati, Klaus Eisart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Julia Fangruber, Marian E. Demert, Blake and Andrew, Sherry and Keith Dennis. Thank you. And now back to the food. So in general, this riding in a car thing feels so foreign to me. Now, after living in Germany, most of the time, the fast food restaurants are in the cities and you just walk up to them. They sometimes have like a walk up window. So it's like a walk through instead of a drive through. This feels so foreign to me, which is so funny after growing up in the US, being born in the US, yeah. so used to this drive through culture. But it's also because we made an effort to find a good location where everything is in walking distance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like we're that not was... using a car at all. I think that's one of the biggest advantages of the European cities. Yeah, so we're gonna go to another drive through We don't recommend this, but we're doing it. Let's go. It's healthy. <laughs> that one's so healthy. <laughs> so here is another drive through There's the drive through right there. We could go in there. We're not gonna go to KFC this time. We're going somewhere else. So our third stop for dinner basically is Good old BK. BK. Burger King. This is the one we go to the least in general. Yeah, and I think that is because uh, lately Burger King sucks a bit in comparison to McDonald's. There's just a handful of things that are good. However, Burger King has a couple of weird offerings right now. And we got uh, one of them, which is the cheddar cheese lover. 
Ooh, but and we got this in vegetarian. Oh yeah, we got plant-based version. You can order it regular and then plant-based version. So it feels like a big burger. It's pretty heavy. Oh, Ooh, has a nice orange That's pretty. saturation yeah, to this it. Is Very orange sesame bun with uh, black and white seeds. Then we have lettuce, we have some cheesy sauce, cheesy little sauce. Tomatoes. A little bit of onion, two slices of tomato. And then this is the star of it. This is a cheddar cheese ring, which is fried, a fried ring. Then we have a couple slices of pickle, the vegetarian patty, and then another slice of cheese between there. Wow, this is a very funky looking burger. So here we go, the cheddar cheese lover, vegan from Burger King. Wow, it looks like Halloween. Yeah, that's what I immediately thought. It looks like a very orange pumpkin-y. It's so cheesy, holy cow. Well, it says cheese lover. Yeah, you definitely have to love cheese. Oh my God. Mm. It immediately oozes cheese, like this very melted fluid kind of cheese, I guess because it's deep fried, it's very fluid in there. And I think the same cheese is below the patty, above the patty and everywhere else in that burger. It's a very cheesy experience and it doesn't really, I don't taste the meat, the non-meat. I don't know, for me, this is not that great. I think uh, it just tastes very artificially cheesy. And the bun is really dry, right? Yeah. That's my biggest problem with Burger King. I think the buns suck the, a bit. The, their buns are so bad. Maybe if you're really into cheese, we got one of these rings actually by itself. Um, they, you can buy it just like as a single and I don't know. Is it better objectively alone? Yeah. It? Really? It is better alone, I don't know why. One thing that Burger King does right is the chili cheese nuggets. And this oh, reminds yeah. me a bit of it. It does taste a bit like those. without the chili. Burger King is almost as popular as McDonald's in Germany. Yeah. It was like the second big chain that came up and built everywhere. You don't even have like a drive through Nordse, which is a fast food chain here in yeah. Germany. And they're at every like these stops on the highway, but they're not drive through You yeah. still have to go in. Or well, other German things like the Döner, there's not Döner drive through We don't need the drive through culture. The bakery. Um, I don't know, if you live in the village, um, you could, but uh, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not so bad to just get out of the car and walk 10 steps sometimes. It's okay. However, I crapped on the burgers a little bit earlier. This one, in my opinion, is one of the good ones you can get at Burger King. It's the crispy chicken, and they often, like right now, have it on sale. It's like, again, a sesame bun. It has lettuce and mayonnaise on it, a tomato, which belongs on every good chicken burger. And then, of course, the crispy chicken patty. I also ordered it with cheese, which costs extra, and there's no cheese on it, no cheese slice. So they also got the order a little wrong here. It's a crunchy chicken patty, and this one you can't go wrong with if you like chicken burgers or sandwiches. However, conveniently enough, Burger King gave us little fork things for our cheese ring. This would have been convenient with the cake. <laughs> is this better? Is this the thing? The crispy chicken is just a safe bet. I agree with you. I still think the bun sucks. Anyways, I think my favorite thing was honestly the bagel. That was, I think, one of the best things that we had today. <laughs> Weirdly, right? Yeah. Let us know what you eat at a drive-thru. If you go through drive throughs what do you consume? Or what do you eat in your car? Do you like cook in your car? We're gonna finish this PSL and see you later. In the next one. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>